get out of your head. Has anyone ever said that to you? Or maybe you've said it to yourself. Sounds great, but how in the heck do you get out of your head when it's swirling with nervousness, panic, or stress? I'm Rich Oseguera, founder of the Visionary Media Institute. In 2003, I convinced my former boss to fly me to San Francisco to represent our New York City company at a huge conference. They really took a risk on me. So the day of the presentation arrived, and when I heard my name called to take the podium, I panicked. My body started shaking visibly, so much so you could hear the notes in my hands rattling like skeleton bones. Sweat was pouring down my face. My mind went blank. I was convinced the audience was laughing at me and rooting for my failure. The only thing I could think of to do was run, and I did. I dashed away and never made the presentation. To make things worse, that was only day one of a three-day event, and I had to see all those people over and over again. It was one of the most embarrassing moments of my life, and I was racked with guilt for wasting my boss's money. That's when I knew I absolutely needed to learn how to get out of my head. After that disastrous experience, I committed myself to learning everything I could to become a confident, grounded, and engaging speaker. So before you find yourself in that same kind of panic, maybe it's a worrisome conversation you have to have, or perhaps you're giving an important talk, or maybe it's a critical decision you have to make. Pay attention to the mental chatter. Notice that it's taking you down a muddy, bumpy road that ends in a ditch. That's when you stop. Then I want you to drop. Drop out of your head, that place that's not working in your favor, and down into your heart. That place of connection, peace, power. Drop into that space where the true essence of who you are lives. Yes? Then breathe. <sighs> when you stop, drop, and breathe, you are consciously disrupting that muddy mental pattern. If you don't disrupt it, it will play out to that awful end that you already know ends in a ditch. So this is where you get to take control and use this very simple but powerful awareness tool. Stop, drop, and breathe. And when you practice this, you'll be astonished how quickly you can get out of your head and come from your heart.